Harvey. Tell this rump cloud he can't just wander. I was only curious, dwarf. I meant no offense. I'm merely a seeker of knowledge. The dwarves give nothing away for free. Apologies for the distraction, Master Blacksmith. I'll leave you to your work. Well, what shall I craft for you today, High One? Bottomless breaches for soiling yourself on the battlefield? Have you ever heard of Uga Mechi? Harvey, my gentle jailer. You know we dwarves give nothing away for free. If you want your question answered, I'll need something in return. Such as? A hidden fact known only to you, Farseer. That I may share in your secret knowledge of the world. The winds that blow over the sea are stirred by the wings of a great eagle named Helsvig, who sits at the edge of the sky. Interesting indeed. I've often wondered at its source. So, you asked about Hugger magic? That is Jotnar business. They can move a man's mind from one place to another. But they only dabble from what I know. Like we boys playing with fire. Don't know a wick from the dick. Now if that's all you came to know, you can piss off and let me work. I have one more need. Can you forge me an unbreakable chain? Chains are overrated. One weak link and it's worthless. Let me craft a cord that Thor himself could not break. It must be strong enough to bind a powerful beast. I will sluice my sweat into this cord, Harvey. All knowledge I have and skill I own will define it. And what will I get in return? My thanks and my hospitality. What more could you need? Blah. You cannot barter with a man who's squeezing your balls. You may always return to the land of fire, Ivaldi. ...and die as your brothers did, roasted on a spit. Hmm. To craft such a cord, I'll need a few impossible ingredients. Name them. I the list there. I have a bear's tendon, a fish's breath, and... A cat's footsteps? And the root of a mountain? How do I find these? How the fuck would I know? The riddles will guide you. I have no patience for riddles, Dwarf. Those riddles are as ancient as the world, with lore passed down from Nii and Nidi to Northri and Sudri, Austri and Vestri, Althjover. I understand. I will return shortly. Falin, Beavor, Babur, Bombur, Nori, Arn and Amnar, I, Mjolvitnir. This looks like the right place. I swear, dwarves would choose riddling over rutting. There is the seed, and the mountain's rocky grip. Some heat may free it from its shell.
must retrieve the root for Ivaldi before it takes hold. Show me. One of Freya's statues. Who put you up here, little cat? the way, nimble one. knew you could capture a sound. Let's see what you can make of these, Ivaldi. Ah, 
I know a cat's footfall when I... I found everything you asked for. How soon can you finish this unbreakable cord? As soon as it wants to be made. You cannot rush this kind of magic. It flows with a speed all its own. Find me as soon as it's ready. By the way, after we spoke of the Hooger, a cousin came by with his own spirit tale. I don't trust coincidence, so this one's free. What did he say? He told me his sister's husband, Borin, drank a mead brewed in Jotunheim, and it sent his Hooger into a goat. The spirit of a dwarf in the body of a goat? <laughs> Stranger still. His sister didn't even notice. Happy! Don't drag me into this. The tower is nearly finished. Do not fret. The final hours are ticking down. Not fast enough. I feel the jaws of a trap closing upon me. Knowing you are in a trap is the first step to avoiding it. You don't care if I'm married off to this builder, do you? You are the Queen of Asgard, the host of Folkvanger, the Shepherd of the Slain. Of course I care. Yet you act as if I'm some treasure to be traded about. I was wrong to use you like that. I will confront the Builder and pry the truth out of him. A limp apology, but it will suffice for now. Once the Builder is dealt with, turn your spear on Loki. Every chance he had, he dug us deeper into this mess. If Loki is up to something, I will see to it that he is punished. Blood Oath be damned. <laughs>